from Kauffman Stadium in Kansas City, Missouri. Major League Baseball on tap. It's the Toronto Blue Jays going up against the Kansas City Royals. First pitch coming your way next. All right, just about ready for baseball. And today on the Hill, Alec Marsh. Well, he's not a rookie, but still very young in this game, learning his craft. I think the key is getting consistent reps and the opportunity to develop his stuff. Looking forward to watching him pitch in this one. Bobichette up to the dish. The why to kick the pitch. That just oh. misses. And that is ball one. Righty delivers. That one's in there. And the count is one and one. Good eye right there. Swing and a miss. And it's two and two. And there's one away. No, just couldn't pull the trigger on the fastball right there, and I don't think he was taking it, thinking it might be a called ball or anything. I just think he was flat out frozen. Did not expect that location, in my opinion. Vladimir Guerrero Jr. in the box now. No, no balls in a strike. strike. One out, base is empty. That yeah. one finds the zone. 0 oh, 2. Good pitch to hit on a tee up in the zone. I think he was looking for something else right there. Fights that one away, and the count remains 0 oh, 2. Flew open a little bit with that front shoulder, but was able to slow his back down just enough to make contact with that pitch. <laughs> Keep the bat alive. And a swing and a miss. And that quickly, two away. Now, well, anytime you can punch out the top two guys in a lineup to start an inning, Got to be feeling pretty good out there on the mound because when you think of just having a distraction, table setters on the base paths, and all of a sudden you're dealing with a number three hitter, any distraction can cause you to serve up a cookie, and instead of it being a solo shot, it's a two- or three-run homer. Two out spaces empty. And a good nope, eye there. Ball. That's in for a strike on the outside corner. One, One and two. Two down, nobody on. Grounder off the pitcher. Safe at first, and now after the play, we'll check on the right-hander status. Throw to second, not in time. He's there easily. Well, you can't give him two errors on that play, but that's pretty much what it looked like. Tried to stay with it after the bobble, and he might have pulled it off with a good throw, but it's very easy to rush the throw when you don't field it cleanly. A lot of times, guys don't have a good grip on it, and I think that was the case right there. And now the Toronto cleanup hitter. Just oh. missed. Man, it's second. There's a strike. Back-to-back -back fastballs in. That last one called for a strike. Probably go away, but look for him to come back in there to try to finish you off. Here's a 1-1. One -one. 
There's the swing of the bench. Corley was sitting on a fastball right there and just ended up out in front of the slider. Hey, you can't fault him for his commitment. Now he's just going to have to battle with two strikes. And a pitch. And that's in the dirt. Runner at second, two down. And we're just getting started here in the top of the first. Next one is off the play. And that's ball three. Dalton Varsho waiting to hit for Toronto. Man on second, two down. The right-hander gives up the two-out walk. Now, this was a story we were paying attention to before the game. We've seen him give up walks in the past, and it's an issue once again early on. And now it's Dalton Varsho. First pitch misses. First and second, two down. And he takes one right out of the black, one, and one. it's one and one. And that one fouled off. Finish. The one two on the ground. The throw to second is offline. Well, every double play turn starts with getting one, and even though these players work on these plays during batting practice over and over again, sometimes at game speed, you can still mess it up. Could have been two outs. Instead, they get nothing. So two down. Danny Jansen now at the plate. Right through there for a strike. 0 oh and 1. That one at 95 missed up top. Ball one. Ripped on a line. No trouble here. Puts it away for the out. And that's the third out. So the Blue Jays strand three. And now the Royals will get their first shot in a scoreless ball game. It's Major League Baseball, and it's on the show. Back here at Kauffman Stadium. And starting this one, Bowden Francis. Well, they're going with the opener in this one, so this is an interesting look. He's probably only going to pitch an inning, maybe two at the most, and it's going to be unconventional. I think he's going to pitch backwards, more off speed, and then fastballs late. Now the third baseman, number 11. And that one is inside ball one. Pitches outside. And another ball. Here's a 3 0. And that's ball four. Ball four. Well, this came apart right there. Four pitch walk, and guy at the play was not going to help him out by swinging at something out of the zone. Now here's Bobby Witt Jr. This is again five in a row. Kicks and fires. Fought off foul. pitch swing and a miss as he was out front that time just missed man oh man I don't know how you take that pitch that's as close as it gets still two and two after the foul ball pitch 
And delivers outside. Vinny Pasquantino to bat next. Three and two. Payoff pitch. And a swing and a line drive at a right field. Base hit. Throw back in quickly. First and second now with nobody out. Anytime you rip a line drive the other way, you feel really good about what you did at the plate. You trusted your hands, you let the ball travel, and you took the barrel straight to it. That's great work right there. First and second, no outs. Vinny Pasquantino steps in for the Royals. Just missed. So two balls and no strikes. Tough spot right here. A couple no runners strike. on. Two ball count. You can't nibble, but you have to execute and finish your pitch. If you leave something out over the plate, it's going to bring in some runs. Runners on the move. And he deals. Up the middle, a sliding play at short. On a second, they get one double play. That was some defensive wizardry. That's well, a huge pitch right there. It looked like it was going to be a big inning, but you get the double play. I guess you'd say here's a chance for the next guy to pick up his teammate, though. And now it's Salvador Perez to the plate. First pitch just misses. Two now. That one missed. MJ Melendez waits on deck. Two outs. Gets a piece and stays alive. Three, two. That ball is foul, and the pressure is building. That one lifted to left. Varsho sizes this one up. He's got it, and that'll end the inning. So one left for Kansas City. Scoreless after one. set for the start of the inning. Now it's the right fielder, Kevin Biggio. Kevin Biggio. The wind of the pitch. Swing and a tapper that rolls foul. Left hand batter waits. That misses. And it's one and one. Our umpire for this one, Freddie Ferguson. A consistent umpire by all accounts. Yeah, I think the book on him is that he's not necessarily by the book with his strike zone. But once you figure out where he's calling strikes, you can pretty much count on him to stay with that throughout the game. The 1-1 one -one is fouled off. Chris, the players ever change their approach in meaningful ways based on who's umpiring? Or is it good to just be aware of tendencies so you're not that surprised? I'd say the latter because pitchers got to pitch to her strengths regardless. The hitter's got to hit to his strength. So you're aware of it, but you have to just hunt for what you can handle. Isaiah Kiner-Falefa batting with one down takes a strike. 
as the game has moved along, we see more and more information supplied by teams about the umpires. I've been in clubhouses where they have pictures of all four guys, nicknames, hometowns, and as well hobbies listed, just so you can kind of small talk the umpire a little bit. <laughs> That's great. He takes it on his own. Two up, two down in the top of the second. Here's Kiermaier now. We talk about guys with good speed, and definitely he has it. But pushing the offense aside for just a second, Chris, it's the defensive side that I think the speed factors in the most. Melendez makes the grab, and that'll do it. We'll go to the bottom of the second. No score. And welcome back to the ballpark. Here's the left fielder, MJ Melendez. Francis back to work. That one finds the zone. That's strike one. That's in there. Quickly down 0 2 in the count. I think you got to choke up a little bit, spread out the feet. You don't know what the velocity or the location of this next pitch is going to be. The punch out there, one out. Well, I think that's a case of overthinking right there. You got three straight fastballs looking in the 0 2 count just to pour it back. Nelson Velasquez stands in now and watches strike one. And he'll one. Swings through the fastball up in the zone. He's really trying to stay back for something off speed. That's why he was so tardy on that swing. To the right side. Guerrero steps on the bag and a couple of quick outs. The second And to the play for Kansas City, Michael Massey. There's the strike. There it was. Oh, oh, here it is. Hit it. He gets a take, gets a head and a count. Big swing and a miss. This guy's not wasting any pitches. Hitters got to get into swing mode. This is a good time to expand the zone. Throw something maybe down in the dirt. Next one misses. One and two to count. The wind of the pitch. Gets a piece there. We'll do it again. Two down. Nobody on. And that one missing low. Second inning here. No score. Wouldn't oh. chase that time. Full count. And that's too Both high, ball four. four. One of the things about that two-out walk, the base runner over at first base that's is going to have a very aggressive that's secondary that's lead. So a ball that's down that's the that's line or an end of the gap that's that's will produce a two-out RBI, and those are the best. That is, if you are the offensive side of it. Hunter Renfro in the box with two gone and takes a look at a called strike. And the pitch just oh, missed. Down. And that one lifted in the air center field. Kiermaier right there to make the grab. And that is that. Royals leave one. We'll move to the third with no score. And we're back. Top half of the third inning. And now the shortstop, Bo Bichette. This guy makes great contact. One of the best in the game at putting bat on ball. 
He's got such quick hands and he's gaining pitch recognition that keeps him square to the plate. There's a good chance that his bat stays in the zone a long time and that produces solid contact consistently. Slap the other way foul. Slow roller to third and he grabs it foul. Here's the 0 2. Slider misses outside. Struck him out swinging. Couldn't catch up to the heater. Vladimir Guerrero Jr. now. He was a strikeout victim his first time. He's a big, strong guy. Can untie this game with one swing. Bounced up the middle. The slide and play it short. Over to first. It's there, and that's a great play. Turner climbs in on that right side. And first offering is fouled off. Two down, nobody on. We're here in the top half of inning number three. And that's in for a strike. Well, this guy's so comfortable hitting with two strikes. Even a good pitch early in the at-bat. If he's not ready to pull the trigger, he's not worried if he gets to an 0-2 count. And down on strikes he goes. And good work there as he gets a 1-2-3. Nothing doing for the Blue Jays. And we're still knotted at zero. As we go to the last of the third. So up now for Kansas City, Kyle Isbell. The wind of the pitch. And a foul ball. Swing and a drive. This one is crushed. No doubt about it. And here in the late stages, they have the lead. This second of the year, and they jump out front. It's 1-0. Boog, his plan was to hit the ball hard, and he was going to figure out the rest later. You can't argue with those results. Looks like this guy was looking out over the plate, but he was ready to turn on the inside fastball. So direct to the pitch, absolutely blasted out of this ballpark. Back to the top of the lineup. Now here's the leadoff hitter for the Royals. Pitch one in ball, the dirt, no ball one. But he's got to delete it. You give up that leadoff home run, go back to work, focus on this next batter. Nobody on, nobody out here in the last half of the third. That one a oh. little bit high. Now 2-0. Oh. With two the big bats coming up and a home run already surrendered, he's really going to have to execute against these next couple of batters. And that is ah. in for a strike. And it's 2-1. and one. Inside, no, just missed. And that one That's off it. the inside edge. You walked him. Second walk of the game for him, and no he's matter, been really patient that. at the play. Sure the game drop. plan that he's sticking to is just not going outside of what he's looking for up there. So, man aboard. And next up for the Royals, Bobby Witt Jr. Fouled off. He was late. <laughs> And here it comes. And a no, good eye there. That's a ball. On the ground left side. Six. Four. Three. three. But it's not in time. And they just get one.
Vinny Pasquantino steps in for the Royals. He hit into a double play his first time up. And immediately pumps in a strike to the left-handed hitter. Man at first, one away. Pickoff throw, and he's back in on a dive. And that skips in the dirt. Well, with the amount of pitches that can end up in the dirt, a good secondary lead doesn't have to get away from the catcher, but if you're anticipating based off the trajectory, get yourself in the scoring position. The pitch. Foul ball still a one and two count. Witt leads off first with one away. And that one got a piece of him. He had him 1-2, and he ends up hitting him with a pitch. Salvador Perez steps in for the Royals. Fly to left his first time. Top of the zone, and it's called a strike. Well, all eyes on the double play ball in this spot. No better way to get out of this inning. That's in there. That is strike two. One out. Runners at first and second. Next pitch is outside. That one down the line. Sneaks through base hit. Runner around third. He'll score. It's two zip. Puts a run on the board and picks up an RBI. Turned on it nicely. Definitely a little out in front of the pitch, but he didn't hook around it too much and was able to keep it fair down the line. MJ Melendez will hit next. Went down looking on three pitches last time. Let's see if he can be a little more aggressive right here. That missed That's inside. And one and one. That one Two almost one. got him. Straighten him up a little bit. Still only one out here in the inning. Breaking ball through there for a strike. Two strikes to a guy who's already 0 for 1 with the punch out. The only guy in the lineup with that strikeout. But you can't get too relaxed. You still got to make good pitches to get him out. And yeah, the right hander deals. In the air, left field. Varsho grabs it on the run. And next is the designated hitter, Nelson Velasquez. Grounded out his first time. Inside corner, and that's called a strike. Well, I know they've gotten out to an early lead, but you don't want to take these opportunities for granted. With two outs, still lock in with a quality at bat, drive in that run. You may not have another runner in scoring position the rest of this ballgame. Hard hit, right side. To second, there's Bichette. They limit the damage here. So they get two runs on two hits. One of them left the yard. On to inning number four. It's the Royals two and the Jays nothing. Out of the fourth, here's the second baseman. Number 36. David. Well, after scoring runs, this is where you're looking for that shutdown inning. Get that hot team back in there to swing the bats. And a breaking ball drops in for a strike. Clips the outside corner, and the count is 0-2. Well, I didn't like those first two pitches. Now in an 0-2 hole, he's going to have to battle. Hope he gets a mistake. Swings and misses. 
Slider got him for strike three. That was a well-executed slider away for the strikeout right there. First two pitches filled up the zone and got him ahead 0-2 in the count. And at that point, you can start expanding the zone as a pitcher. He made him chase and got the quick strikeout. And now, Dalton Varsho. And first offering is fouled off. Ball one nope, there. That's outside. Ball. The pitch. Two two. Well, he might have to look for a different put away pitch right here. Two two. He's already seen the curveball a couple of times in this at bat, so might have it timed up and ready for it. Struck him out looking. Got the start to this game on the mound. Looking very dangerous to these hitters. Seven punch outs already. So this lineup hasn't had much success trying to figure him out. I'm impressed with what we're seeing here. Danny Jansen to hit here. He's 0 for 1. There's a sinker at the knees for a strike. Boom. Over 80% of his first pitches are strikes. You're doing that. You could have a really good day out there on the mound. That's to third, and that chance handled. Zips it to first, and it's a 1 2 3 inning. Nothing doing for the Blue Jays. They trail things here 2 0. Back here in Kansas City, John Chomby and Chris Singleton with you. And leading off the bottom of the fourth, Michael Massey. Here comes a pitch. And there's the strike. Next pitch is downstairs. Right hander kicks deals. Swinging a foul back. That's out of play. The one two. That's down and in. Definitely a swing and miss slider down and in. He finished that really well. Just couldn't get him to offer at it. Got it. And one gone. The right fielder, number Hunter Renfro at the plate. Hunter. 0 for 1 with a fly Renfro. out to center. First Ball, pitch doesn't it. find the zone. And another ball. Well, usually a high level of confidence when you're facing a young pitcher out there on the mound. In this situation, ahead 2-0. He's put himself in a really good spot. That that's misses ball. the zone, and that's ball three. And there's the automatic. Base is empty one away. We're here at the bottom of the fourth. 3-1, that's and he ball couldn't ball come four. up Take with it. Rate. Well, he's starting to look a little gassed to me, and we'll see if they go to the bullpen in this spot or not. And now it's Kyle Isbell. He's already homered here in this one. That's a strike. Going one. Toronto's bullpen with some action. Chad Green getting loose out there. Swanson getting loose as well. At the belt and fires. Swings and misses. Oh, a two down. No, there's a certain point where you have to commit to what you think you see, and he guessed wrong right there. Nasty slider with just terrific bite at the end. Out to center. Kiermaier makes the play. 
Up next to the Royals, the third baseman, Mike Now here's the leadoff hitter for the Royals. And the first pitch misses for ball one. Renfro off of first with two away. They tried to get him to chase on a slider down and away. That clips a corner. That's to third from his backside. In there safely. Now this is unfortunate because it looked like it was going to be an awesome play, something we see on the highlights tonight and tomorrow. But you have to applaud the effort on the stop. And if you don't take care of the throw, it goes from a wow moment to one you regret really quick. Bobby Witt Jr. digs in now. Singled and scored back in the first. He's one for two. The shortstop takes a ball. The 1 0. Swing and a pop up under it. Makes the catch inning over. Royals strand a pair, but they're on top 2 nothing. Back here at Kauffman Stadium, we go to the top of the fifth. Kevin Biggio up to the plate. And the right hander back to work. And that gets the top of the zone for a strike. Next Ball. offering is downstairs. Kicks and deals. And that's through there for a strike. And that's a strikeout looking. Not sure about that call. Pitcher might have gotten a friendly strike three. Well, it's just a great job of playing catch with the catcher. Exactly where the catcher set up is where he threw that pitch. And probably fooled the umpire a little bit because there was no budge at all. Isaiah kiner falefa up to the plate. Ball no, one, no strikes. Ball. Well, on the mound, very efficient. Able to produce an outcome, it seems like, within the third or fourth pitch of just about every at-bat. The Blue Jays trailing by two, and we're at the top of the fifth. And yeah. there's the strike. Changing speeds has this lineup completely off balance in this one. We've seen a lot of missed time swings, and it's been a challenge for these hitters to get no, their rhythm ball. right. And it is two and one. Two and one. And That's another ball. ball. Oh, they have had a hard time scoring in this one. The pitcher out there on the mound wants to keep attacking, make sure that they don't get any confidence. Up the middle, into the outfield, base hit. So they get a man aboard with a one-out single. Only two hits allowed so far tonight, Boog, so I don't think that one will disrupt his momentum all that much. You know, he's really been on top of his game, commanding his pitches all night long. Here's Kevin Kiermeyer. He's 0 for 1. There's the strike. Dying run at the plate. Late on that fastball. Well, just threw that fastball by him, elevated, and if you're not looking up in that location, very difficult to catch up to, especially with that velocity. Next offering is down low. Line drive. 
and he can't make the play. The throw in, lead runner around second. And the throws offline, safe at third. Solid swing from start to end, on time with everything, really good balance, nice extension, and he met it out front for the line drive knock. And now a crucial opportunity to tie up this game with another base hit. So the batting order turns over. Bo Bichette next up for the Blue Jays. Splits the plate. Strike one. In the infield at the corners. Don't be surprised to see them come home first and prevent that run from scoring. So the tying run at second. On a line. Gone. He sends it out of here. And that's how they take the lead. It's 3-2. Well, that swing changes things. Yes, it does. They were in striking distance. They found a way to fight back big time. With a low 90s fastball, you have to live on the edges and hit your spots. If you don't, you'll get hit hard. Really good swing there. Patient, waited for it. It was like BP all over again. Here's Vladimir Guerrero Jr. That clips the corner. One down, base is empty. And that one is in for a strike. Meanwhile, activity in the bullpen. Cole Reagan getting ready to go. Singer getting cranked up as well. Riding to the plate. In the dirt. And the count is one and two. Fights it off. He'll see another. And the righty deals. Swing and a ball popped up. Witt makes the play. Two down. It's a good recovery, though, after giving up the home run. Not allowing it to stay in the head, but going to work at the next hitter. And a tough one at that. So now Turner in on that right side. One for two. That one finds the zone. That's strike one. Hard grounder into the outfield for a knock. Joey gets on base and keeps it going. Couldn't have timed it up any better than that. Just kept it simple. Played Pepper with the middle of the infield and took it back where it came from. And there's just no one there to knock it down. Now the Toronto four-hole hitter. A strikeout and a walk. And yeah. that's in for a strike. 0 oh, 1. Oh, 1 now. In ah. there for a strike at the top of the zone. And a bat like this is almost over as it begins. In this situation, you have no idea what the next pitch is going to be. You just got to hope that you can make contact. Goes down looking. But the biggest swing of the inning comes right here, a three-run homer. It's now a 3-2 ball game. Back now to start the bottom of the fifth and taking over on the mound, Jordan Romano. He comes in with a chance for his second save of the season. Three, four, five, due up for the home team. Vinny Pasquantino steps in for the Royals. And a pitch. That's in there. One, one. Got 
got him to chase one upstairs there. The healthy cut. Oh, Tough did. pitch at 98, but a really good pass at the ball. Looking to get the tying run on base. Got him! And that's the first out. You know, the danger with the slider is leaving it out over the heart of the plate and getting contact on it. If you're going to miss, you want to miss towards the corners, not in the middle. Right there, he does a great job with hard break at the end. He ran it inside. Very difficult to do anything when you're tied up like that as a hitter. Next is the Royals catcher, Salvador Perez. Ball one low. In the air, right field. Biggio moves towards it. No trouble here. Puts it away for the out. And there's two down. The left fielder, number one, MJ. So they're down to their final out. And to the play for Kansas City, MJ Melendez. That clips the corner. Cold night tonight, Berg, and that's a pretty firm fastball right there. I tell you what, memories of getting jammed, they creeping into my mind right now. Lifted to left, and this should do it. And he's got it. Ball game. And the Blue Jays hold on to win a tight one as this one ends as a one-run ball game. Well, this was a tightly played game. Got a little of everything. Some timely hitting, runs on the board, key pitching and defense in certain spots. Definitely a fun one to watch.